All right, guys. Well, we got to get some gas, and then we are going on a little adventure. But we are going somewhere, little, uh, some sightseeing, I guess. I've uh, been there a long time ago, and I'm gonna take you guys there and show you again. Well, should be a little creek there too, but it's probably overflowed. What's up everybody, Steve OFS here. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing fantastic as always, thank you very much. But like I said, we are going to check out a little spot for some adventure time. Don't pull out please, thank you very much. We're gonna go look at a train. I think it's called three spot train, three spot, three spot. I believe it's about 16 miles from Chiefland, Florida to the south on 19, US 19. Or I believe US 98 if I think that's what it's called, but if not, I'll uh, correct it somewhere. We're gonna go check this bad boy out. We went there a long time ago, and uh, I'm gonna try again, and hopefully get some good shots for you guys with what equipment I got. There's not much. Show you the little creek that's behind there. Hopefully it's not flooded, but I really believe it's probably gonna be high, and it's not gonna look as cool. But we're gonna go take a look. And, uh, all right, so buckle up and we'll uh, be back. Peace. Uh, no, that's how you know. Yep, that is it. Miss my turn. Miss my turn. We'll go around. All right. Miss my turn, but that's it. The PM. I think that joke is from 19, 1915, 1905. I don't know, we'll see. The Grove Downing Company used five locomotives, four large locomotives, cranes, two log loaders, and one skitter machine for logging. One locomotive, number 2411, was a 280 steam engine built in November. 1915 by the Vulcan Ironwork Wolke Bear, or Pennsylvania. The locomotive was originally purchased by the Gulf Pine Lumber Company of Pasco County and labeled number three. The engine was sold to Grove Grove Downing Pirate in the 1927 and moved to the Gulf moved to Gulf Hammock as the Great Depression set in across the nation. The Grove Downing Hardwood Company went into receivership on March 3rd, 1930, and their holdings were acquired by the Robinson Land and Lumber Company of Alabama. The Robinson Company was owned by A.M. 3H Peterson and J.J. McWinkosh. In 1937, the company was renamed Patterson and McKillen's Lumber Company. In 1956, 1956 they saw a sawmill was destroyed by a fire. On October 18, 1969, Georgia Pacific deeded land to Levy County Board of County Commissions, which established the Wayside Park. Pat Mac donated the Vulcan locomotive number 2411 to the Florida Department of Transportation for display by resolution date February 4th, 1992. Ownership of the locomotive passed to the County Board of Commission, the heritage site. All right, let's get out of here. It's getting pretty warm. More people are starting to show up and ruin my being alone. But that'd be the train right there. So we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna head home. Hopefully I can do something with this video and you guys will enjoy it. These cars. Let's get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, checking out the train and a little bit of the river, the little snake down there. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but there was a snake down there. Not 100% what it was, but I wasn't going to touch it to find out. <laughs> my um, 
my Canon, um, my memory card's jacked, so I don't know if I got any footage from it or uh, I lost it all. But I have my backup uh, here of sessions, so I got footage with that. So hopefully it turns out well um, and all that good trash. So if you guys enjoyed that video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you guys be notified when my fantastic videos up because they're fantastic god damn it yes they are they truly are <laughs> uh, and for everybody that's been with me forever i appreciate it. you guys are awesome thank you very much um don't forget to comment and all that good shit and i'll see you guys on the next one as always peace love and unicorns steve alone